October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and this week you can help survivors and their families by dining out for a good cause. Several local restaurants are teaming up with Clackamas Women's Services in an effort to raise awareness and support. Catherine, is it Koch? Koch. Koch, Koch is uh, Director of Counseling and the Youth Program at CWS, and she joins us this morning along with Amanda Rain. Uh, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks morning. for having us. Thank you. Good being here. Yeah, tell us a little bit about CWS and uh, why this Thursday is called Purple Thursday. Yeah, well, CWS is a domestic and sexual violence organization. We support almost 10,000 youth and adults uh, annually through several different trauma-informed programs. We operate a an emergency shelter as well as supportive housing programs. We have youth services, civil legal programs. We provide advocacy services that are both culturally and linguistically and youth specific, um, as well as counseling and support groups. Okay. Amanda, let's talk about the issue of domestic violence and, and particularly here in our communities. Uh, how big of a problem is this? What are we seeing? So we have one in three women, one in four men, and nearly half of all people who identify as LGBTQ who have experienced domestic violence at some point in their mm -hmm. lifetime. And the thing about this is that everyone knows someone. And so we may not know that we know someone, uh, but we do. And it's very prevalent. And so it's really important that we raise awareness on this issue and come together as community to really uh, break the isolation. You've got the event coming up. Uh, tell us uh, about this event and, and why it's happening. Yeah, absolutely. Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Um, it's held annually, and we're really excited to raise awareness and uh, about the issue of domestic violence as well as raise funding for our vital programs. Um, and Amanda will tell you a little bit about the participating restaurants that are supporting our cause. Yeah, yeah. so the great opportunity to go out and, and visit one of your favorite spots and support. Who all is getting involved? We have Jackpot Foods, Cup of Tea, Yolat uh, Mexican Cuisine, Stanford's Stickman Brew, Brewing Company, Oswego Noodle House, OC Brewing is uh, doing um, from 5 to 10 on Tuesdays. Uh, it's a little different, so everyone's on Purple Thursday, which is this Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then OC Brewing is on Tuesday nights of, in October from 5 to 10 p.m. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, was it tough to get the, the restaurants involved in this effort? And just tell me about that interaction. Yeah, you know, Again, everyone knows someone, and so for the people who know, uh, they really want to support the cause and they want to contribute. And so, you know, it, uh, there's a number. It was not too difficult to get restaurants to support and um, be part of the dine out day. So there are a, a lot of ways. I'm sure that the support is going to then help some of these survivors in the community. Catherine, let's talk a little bit about some of the programs that CWS is able to support with this. Yeah, absolutely. So like I mentioned, we have an emergency shelter. So for folks fleeing domestic violence, as well as safe and supportive housing after somebody has fleed, um, we have our community-based programs that operate out of a Safe Place Family Justice Center. Um, that's counseling and support groups. We have youth programs, a summer camp for kids impacted by family violence, advocacy and safety planning support, really wanting to make sure that we're providing holistic care for the folks impacted by violence. Yeah, let's, uh, there's something that's called Camp Hope, right? Yes. So tell us about that. Yeah, so Camp Hope is uh, our summer camp program for youth impacted by family violence. It's incredible. It's very fun. Um, we, uh, we host several activities. You know, think quintessential camp, whitewater rafting, archery, um, silly camp songs. It's really a way for us to build community with the youth and the families that have been impacted by violence um, within that community model that we operate on um, and, and utilize the healing power of nature. Yeah, mm -hmm. so many wonderful ways to, to support here in the community. Real quick, we're almost out of time, but I just wanted to mention for folks at home who uh, maybe they don't see themselves being personally mm -hmm. impacted by domestic violence, what are some of the other ways that they can reach out to people in their lives and, and be part of that solution? Yeah. I would say start by believing and also being a safe space for people. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about our advocacy work is that it's confidential. So someone can call us and not worry about having CW, um, 
having protective services called on them with their children because there's a violent situation. And so we can help with safety planning in those moments. We can help connect them to other resources and uh, so they can feel safe to open up and be honest about what they're experiencing. And so the more that we can be that for each other, where we can be a safe space without judgment for people who are experiencing violence, the more they'll be able to open up to us. All right. And, and uh, again, briefly before we go, what, what are the dates for this, uh, uh, this event? Yeah. It's this Thursday, Purple Thursday, so wear purple okay. uh, and head on out to one of the restaurants um, that we mentioned. All right, yeah. great. Well, Director Catherine and Amanda, thank you both for being here. It's yeah. a, a valuable community resource. We, we hope everyone's going to be able to support on Purple Thursday. If you'd like to learn more or reach out to CWS and see which restaurants are participating, we're going to link to that. All the info you need is on coin.com. Happening tomorrow, downtown Vancouver.